All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, Cole, um, you know, you and I both have this kind of uh, anthropological interest in, uh, not in anthropology, but in like outdated kind of culturally insensitive uh, racist pop culture artifacts. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, we all have that cutout clip of normal and blackface from Garfield in 1982. No, I have all the original cells there up on my wall. They are yeah. appreciating in value as we speak. Yeah, they're, those are hard to look at. But it's like it's not like, you know, not racist. It's just like fascinating that it happened. Right, right. That 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 that, that several people had to say yes for this thing to ever see the light of day. Yeah, totally. So I uh, I know we've done CD randomizations before, so that's been taken. What we haven't done is a record randomization. Oh, no. So I uh, I took my, uh, you know, recently went through my grandpa's old racist record collection, <laughs> found this big, uh, big selection of uh, granddaddy's racist hits. OK. And I figured uh, you just close your eyes, you drop the needle on uh, any point uh, in this and uh, we'll get we'll get our, our game for this time. And I need you before you do that, so I can set up the audio cue. I need you to vamp for like just a second. Okay. Well, I can do that. No, it's uh, you, 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 when you're storing your racist records, what you want to do is make sure that you put them in a cedar box. That way, your more politically correct moths don't come in and start wrecking havoc on them. You know? <laughs> yeah, fucking politically correct moths. <laughs> okay. You know what? Like, he's up there every day doing his job. <laughs> he he went down there to the plant. He would come home. He would put on his racist records. Yeah, and he wants to listen to a little racist music. I think he's probably fine. Yeah, he's not. You know, he's not hurting anybody except the victims of the stereotypes. Yeah, he's not hurting anybody except for all the minorities. <laughs> this is two um, in a row, Gary. I know, but that, that was the joke. I just, this wasn't meant to be that. It just kind of became it. Okay, let me... Uh, so go ahead and uh, and drop the needle here. Okay. Here and we I'll, go. I'll fade us on up. Civilization is a thing for me to see. Wait a minute. So bongo, 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 I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. That's our, that's our friend, uh, uh, Bing Crosby. Danny Kay. D- Danny K- oh yeah no <laughs> it was the hap hap happiest christmas since bing crosby tap danced with That's danny he fucking dip, k dip, dappity died <laughs> <laughs> it's been the hap hap happiest christmas since he dipped dap dip, dip, died <laughs> in the bing congo Crosby's probably a racist piece of shit right i, uh, I know he beat the shit out of his kids oh, okay oh yeah sack of lunch oranges the uh fall, the family guy yeah. it's supposed to be his joke so it's supposed that, to be uh, a joke had the cadence of one yeah uh, no, no I, I call it supposed to be a joke oh yeah did I say that in a questioning manner? I no, no, it in no. I thought manner. you said supposed to be a joke. Oh no, a spouse <laughs> adu- abuse. Oh yeah, yeah. It's about him abusing his spouse. Oh yeah, uh, he was he was re- he put a lot of pressure on his kids too. I think there might have been. Yeah. A, I think it might have just been a real a uh, re- real piece of work all around. When, and if you read between the lines of White Christmas, give me a fucking <laughs> break, dude. The, um, <laughs> you, you realize that's, that, that's like the best selling song ever. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It's also you know the reason why it's the best selling song. Um, Germany? Um, well, I mean, kinda. Yeah. Like, it's, um, the, uh, and I don't know if this is true. This was, this, this has the, the air to me of a true trivia thing, but I read in a comic book is that they bought, the military bought tons of copies because they gave it to soldiers. For oh, Christmas yeah, yeah. In World War II. So, like, every soldier had this, like, 45 of White Christmas. Huh. And, uh, so, and we, you know, we are at war, so there are a lot of soldiers. Yeah. So, so I mean, and, and increasingly less every day. Uh, so it's kind of like a, like a Songs of Innocence kind of thing. Like, we're going to make this the best-selling the record project? by... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Putting out on iTunes. Yeah, like, yeah, the, the soldiers, like, knapsack care package was the <laughs> iTunes of the time. <laughs> like, yeah. I was really surprised by that. Like, you remembering the name of that YouTube album. <laughs> it was so <laughs> controversial. <laughs> It took me by surprise. I can't <laughs> wait for songs of experience. So, um, <laughs> yeah, Congo, the uh, Congo game. But Gary and Cole, you guys don't have a Sega Saturn. We don't need it. No, because we're doing the unreleased one, baby. someone call frank cefaldi yeah uh this is one that was recovered uh mm-hmm. G- gary who are you 
Uh, this is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. And I'm Ernie Hudson. <laughs> and this is how Jack's suffering the show where you play bad games. So you don't have to. Yeah. We have a guest from the movie. Um, was, was Ernie Hudson really in Congo? Hell yeah, dude. In the game, you get to play, have the little digitized Ernie Hudson and you have your like Hudson count. Huh. Like, right. Like how many HUDs you got in your huh. HUD your own Hudson. Okay, I didn't realize that because I, I I guess the only name that I read was on the uh, was on the Saturn version, which is an mm-hmm. actor whose name I don't I don't recognize. But huh, yeah, Ernie Hudson. Oh, t- uh, Tim Curry was in this. Gary, I've never seen Congo. I, I haven't seen either, but I watched the trailer and I watched. I, I then I was like, why have I never not just put Tim Curry into YouTube and saw what came up? <laughs> and then I watched a bunch of Tim Curry videos today. Oh, it would probably just be like a, like a ton of like really depressing interviews with him, like as his health has declined. It wasn't that. It was okay. mostly like like positive uh, retrospectives. But that you know that he's going to go at some point. And that's going to hurt. Yeah. Like that. Well, he's. Yeah. I mean, like he's 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 had like a like like a staggering number of strokes recently. It's actually like really upsetting. Yeah. 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 It's a bummer because I, I I do uh, I do really really appreciate that man. Yeah. Yeah. Something but, to be the the best part of anything you're in. Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, you were talking about going on a going on a Gabriel Night tour of the South. Yeah, like you, you've you've got some you've got some some attachment to 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 them. Yeah. Oh, very much so. Yeah, I, th- I think that I uh, that will actually happen. I think uh, possibly this winter. Nice. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're talking about uh, Congo, the secret of Zinge. And Zinge. Zinge, um, which sounds vaguely filthy to me, um, which is the canceled SNES and Genesis game. Um, that uh, uh, was was slated to come out, but was canceled after the movie itself flopped. It didn't live in, up to the expectations that were set by uh, by our friend Jurassic Jurassic Park. And, and it was just not supposed to be very good. Right, right. And which, which is spoiler, not. it's not. It is it is nauseatingly bad. <laughs> did you did you watch any um, YouTube of it? Uh, yes, I did. I, I saw a couple. It's like what if a platform was all what was all Mortal Kombat digi- digi- digitization. It takes so long to get to the platformer, though. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, my jaw dropped at how much time you spend in that fucking raft. <laughs> like, it's incredible. And, like, every every review that I read, like, most of the stuff said, like, you know, it was, like, lauding the variety of play. And, like, mm-hmm. I, I, it doesn't matter, like, how much variety there is if you never see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and if, like, getting there is just, like, extremely bad. Right. I mean, like, I had to save scum like crazy because... Uh, pro tip uh that river rafting thing is impossible because you're moving way too fast yeah <laughs> like at least on my emulator uh your you, the the camera and spray movement was way too quick like it, it was outpacing the refresh rate so like yeah. there was there was actual like v-sync tearing on my screen as i was trying to figure out is this tank controls or am i speeding up or slowing down i don't know what's happening i think it's like once you press in a direction you head in that direction for like the whole time. Ugh. Like you, you just tap that direction. You'll just keep going in that direction until you, it's like bumper cars. Like you can't really oh, go straight, yeah. Yeah. but you still, you have to speed, you go way too fast the whole time and you have to speed up to make these like battle toads esque jumps mm-hmm. to get over things with spikes. And it's one hit and Ernie Hudson goes into the drink. Yeah. And then your little Hudson count goes down. Um, yeah, it is, it is way too hard for me. <laughs> like I, I was saved scum for a while and got fairly far into it. And then I was like, Oh man, like I'm, really losing my patience with this shit yeah um well, how long does this go on and then i looked it up and it's like whoa 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 <laughs> i got like, so i got so discouraged um because like i got to what i thought was the end of the rafting stage like as the river turned a very piss-like shade of yellow mm-hmm. um and then i was like okay well cool the stage is done and then it started up a new and tougher rafting stage yeah it's more or less in real time and the movie didn't spend that much time Going right. to the rafting, like as I saw the, um, like it gives you that little thing that tells you what you're, why you're on a raft. It's like this is how you get to this area of the Congo, and I was like, oh, okay, like that's how you get to the area of the Congo. But I, I guarantee the movie did not spend that much time on a raft. No. So. Yeah, and, and like the opening to this is 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 kind of inventive, right? Like the uh, the weird little Operation Wolf thing where you're just getting the satellite footage of gunning down apes it's, um, it's very funny because they, they seem peaceful at first it's like <laughs> you know you know a, a satellite gave us something troubling and then it just shunts you instantly into first person mode of just shooting down apes that <laughs> yeah. aren't attacking you <laughs> the haramp apocalypse 
Yeah. It's a, yeah. Yeah. Like kill these peaceful, beautiful creatures. Yeah. Uh, somebody, uh, so, somebody recommended, I need to go and verify that this is true. Cause it might be a good selection for one of us to thumb, the, to thumb the scale, uh, one of these mm-hmm. months, but I guess somebody made a game out of peaceful skeleton realm attacked by helicopter. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I need to go, uh, go, go, go take a look because that might be a good one. It might be better than mine next month. I, I like the peaceful skeleton realm quite a bit. <laughs> But I want to attack it so badly. Um, um I, 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 I don't. No I, no, I would like to save them. Yeah, well, I, w- I want to, I want to attack them so that they rise up to be their best. Okay, you know, you want, you want to train them, right? I, th- I, I think you that Ar- Arlie Emery them. <laughs> Arlie Listen, Emery. You sacks of bones. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I've never seen such a waste of calcium in my entire <laughs> life. You are mostly marrow. <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I can get that. Like, yeah, I would like you know what comes strong. out of Texas? Scapulas and crapulas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Suck my coccyx. <laughs> you lily livered. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good idea to train them up because the next time the, the helicopter comes. Yeah, they may be serious. Yeah. Well, and, well, and they'll be able to fight back. Yeah. Because if I recall my skeleton realm lore, they don't do very much to fight back. Oh, there's the one who does the uh, the the the, fl- the flying spin kick uh, to yeah. de- to destroy it. But I think that like that's like a once in a lifetime hero. I the think greatest we'll, warrior of their people. Right. I think we need at least like five or six of those because I mean, frankly, they got lucky with just the one helicopter. Yeah. Because the the one you know one of the guys just runs away. One of the guys runs towards the camera. You know, they, they don't do a very good job. No, no. Holy shit, the cast on this fucking movie. Bruce Campbell, Laura yeah. Linney. Fuck yeah. Ernie Hudson. Yeah. Joe yeah. Don Baker. <laughs> uh, like, John Hawks. Bob Driscoll. The, um... <laughs> this, um, yeah, they, like this, this movie, I, I couldn't say if they came out at the same time, but like it ran together with, um, what is it, Anaconda and Lake Placid. Yeah. For just like movies where it was just an incredibly dark like man versus the wilderness kind of story that came out post uh post Jurassic Park. Yeah. You know? And I was like too young to get really excited because like yeah, apes are good, but I could stay home and watch Jurassic Park. I was I was a little too old for this. Okay. Like I was I was the perfect age for Jurassic Park, but then by the time this came out, I was already getting old, a little sick of it. Yeah. You know, so I was 15 when this came out and it's like that's not too old for apes, but it's right on the edge of too old for apes. Right, right. You know, well, not, ha- not like not that into apes. Yeah, it's apes. It, it's tough. Like the the whole resurgence of the of uh, the Planet of the Apes movies is kind of baffling to me a little bit. Oh man, well you you've seen the trailer where they say the titular line, right? Keep your hands off me, you damn dirty apes. No, no, no. The titular line, like when somebody like um, who's the is it Willem Dafoe? Who's like the main human in that? There's a part where he goes, and this truly will be, or it's Woody Harrelson. Oh God, it will truly be. A planet of the apes. I I can I can never put myself in the headspace of Woody Harrelson to like fa- <laughs> to fathom the choices yeah. that he makes. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, I mean, you gotta do stuff to like finance your oh yeah, your like smaller projects, but like, but like dog. just like like like, like it's a big hit. What's that? I said True Detective was a big hit. Oh yeah, but like the, he he attaches himself to so much great stuff. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, oh yeah, sure. I will play my dad in No Country for Old Men. Sure, I will be in Zombie Land, this fun campy thing. Sure, like, I'll be Woody in Cheers. <laughs> like, he does all the best stuff. <laughs> he does so much good stuff, but yeah. then he just like he slips up on that stuff. The uh, when that happened, when I first saw that trailer where he says that, I laughed out loud. And we talked about this a couple episodes ago, where like I really want. <laughs> I really want audiences and theaters to be on my side. They never are like, <laughs> they'd be like laugh along with me because it's fucking funny, you know? And then, but everyone just looked at me like I was being rude for laughing during their very serious planet of the apes trailer. Oh yeah. They're like, they're, 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 they're... Leaping off to the side and like, <laughs> like somebody stands and salutes and <laughs> you know, they're, they're real invested in the lore. I think, no, what you have to do instead of like, like uh, laughing out loud, you need to bring back like the, uh, the REM throwing popcorn at Jim Carrey and the great beyond video. Oh, yeah. yeah just like do that yeah. like you know sit close enough where you can throw and make a difference i think that yeah. i think that that is that, that that is a kind of silent protest which will which will fly in this uh in this modern day don't bother me america 
I can also hold up just like a big John 316 sign. Oh, yeah. Put on your rainbow wig. Yeah. 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 To stand like paint a flag on my, my chest and yeah. stand up and turn around. Can I – Um, sorry to – I'm just a little scattered here. No, uh, no, it's fine. Overcome. I'm I'm, I'm, right. I'm scattered too. It's been a it's it's been a uh, uh, like holiday weekend. We're recording this uh, right before the uh, the fourth, so I'm all over the place too. Um, I recently got in the mail my Buffo shirt. Yes, you did, and I've been watching a lot of Buffo videos on his very... on, on 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 his website. Uh, and you you got a handwritten note from him too, right? I Saying, did. Well, hey. he, he signed like well, it's not a note so much. He just said it's like thanks for the, yeah yeah I guess it's a note. Thanks for the order, Buffo. Uh, d- WSC, which yep. is World Strongest Son. World Strongest Son, of course. Uh, and kind of the shirt, which is a good shirt, because um, I like that it has a phone number on it. Okay. Um, which means, like, anytime if I need it, like, you know, anytime I want, I can <laughs> if you help. need help. <laughs> <laughs> if, like, I'm getting held up or something, I can just look down at my shirt and, like, yeah. there's the solution. The thing I didn't know when I got it is the back has an American flag and it says, Buffo Salutes America. Okay. So there's a trouble patriotic. Like, I am not the kind of person who's going to wear an American flag shirt, but here I am right now wearing an American flag shirt. Well, <laughs> so you're wearing your Buffo shirt right now. Oh, very much so. Uh, see, I, 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 think, I, th- I think that a patriotic message uh, laundered. I'm, I'm sorry. Through like, I, I didn't I didn't mean for that pun, but laundered through this strong clown that we admire. I think that it's acceptable. What if um, I think so, too. The way I'd want to see this articulate is Buffo just ripping flags in half instead of phone books. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. It, like, w- what you need is like a is 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 like a back piece tattoo of Buffa ripping his way out of a uh, r- ripping his way out of an American flag on your back, but like there's yeah. blood and stuff coming out of it. Yeah, yeah like like an eagle's mouth, like an eagle in his mouth or something. Yeah, because we talked about we talked about Duffo, right? Like that's the, the attic stooge that lives above. Oh, right. Buffo. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what about like dark Buffo? Like, what's oh, the an- like anti patriotic Buffo? Yeah. Um, it's I tough. Buffo. <laughs> oh no that's a troubling direction <laughs> he's consolidating his power <laughs> yeah and he's just like he just cares about oil and and uh yeah. and evil and missiles and stuff yeah no I, you know buffo yeah see i see so i'm 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 kind of fine uh I, i'm kind of fine with uh reappropriating patriotic imagery uh, as, as 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 a liberal, as a way to make a statement that we should we we should aspire to ha- higher than what we're at now. Mm. So like I've got a you know just just because it's it's comfortable and I like I like the I like the design. I've got a uh, like a, like a red white and blue uh, Apple Watch band that I sometimes wear mm. when I when I want to when I want to vary it up. And yeah, no, I think I think that there is there is a way to uh, to, to 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 go after. Um, at least a the, the the trappings of patriotism in a way that owns our better angels and uh, and, and and calls for better. Well, the, the trick is nobody knows though. So like, it's the same reason why I won't wear a red hat. Oh, right. Yeah. Like it's like from a glance, it's like oh, here's the who's that guy in the American flag shirt? Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 a glance like in this current political climate, like I assume like anybody walking around with a flag shirt, it's probably a MAGA chud. Mm. You know, oh. um, maybe not. But I it's would, like I just yeah. have that feeling that like, oh, like, you know, I would it, it just seems, you know, it's riskier. It's not necessarily even more likely, but it's like as opposed to yeah. me assuming most people I talk to are not. It's like, oh, now there's a 25 percent chance this guy. Right, right. You know, yeah. it's kind of bad. I think that I, I think that it balances out at the very least, you know, because mm-hmm. you're you're probably going to be walking around with, a, around with a backpack on. Um, And I think that the uh, the the the. the the name on the front is much more important than, than the name on the back, as they would say in the so movie true. Miracle. Again, a very patriotic movie. I will I will fill my backpack full of communist manifestos, <laughs> right. and then See, I'll take it off to reveal the flag, and then just know, hand out a bunch of these like, and be like, the, the, yeah. the, "There is a, there is a time. I just like pretend that you're uh, pretend that you're Woody Guthrie. You know, this clown kills fascists, yeah. right?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would love to see Buffalo just start ripping fascists in half. Instead of- <laughs> See, because, okay, so in case people don't know, Buffo is the strong clown that we admire. Uh, we discovered him back, I think it was like in the Kid Clown episode when we asked. Is Kid Clown or... Um, or Circus Charlie? Uh, Circus Charlie. Yeah, I can't yeah, remember I can't remember which, uh, but we just did a search for strong clowns, and we found we found Buffo, who was, who, who was a children's performer based out of uh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, who is the world's strongest clown. 
Um, and he yes. does uh, children's and adults acts, and he has like a strong patriotic bent. Like if you watch the Who is Buffo, uh, you get you you get some footage of a, a of a gentleman who is explaining who Buffo is. I and love I, uh, unrelated gentleman. Yeah, unrelated gentleman. I don't know. I don't I know who that, he is, but know. he's he's very enthusiastic about Buffo. But he describes like you know like that patriotism kind of comes part and parcel with him. So I think that if we're going to go all in on Buffo, we need to own at least our own our own version of what America could be. Yeah, you know. It's, I'm, I'm not saying I can't. I'm just saying it's it's a, a it's fraud. A struggle. It's fraud. Yeah, it's fraud, and it's a struggle. It goes against my instincts, but like, and then sad news to report, which I mentioned as well, is this is Buffo's last fair season, the right. Buffo farewell tour, uh, which I read that I was very like I actually interacted with the fan community I'm I'm part of on Facebook, uh, friends of <laughs> Buffo. Uh, the world's strongest clown, and somebody is like, you know, his farewell tour continues, and I was like, hold up, yeah, Tammy farewell to her <laughs> and then the, um and it's still he'll do still do private events and birthdays and stuff yeah, He's no longer yeah. Doing the fair circuit so it's getting harder it's gonna be harder to see buffo right you know then then just going to a fair where he performed which like you know in, in addition to that gabriel knight tour like that would have been really cool it would have and like he he kind of so he tours just far enough away from my hometown that it's mm. like really inconvenient to go yeah so like, like a day drive yeah, exactly. Like like a day drive on top of on top of being away from being away from Cincinnati for several days. Can I you know what ties this buffo back into what we do? <laughs> buffo back to Congo. Buffo back to Congo is he dresses up as a giant as a gorilla. Who? Uh, as one of his like stunts. He goes around on stilts, he goes around on a, a unicycle, normal clown stuff. Yeah. But sometimes he's dressed up as a gorilla. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he also he also rides around on a fake buffalo, which I I think yeah. I think it's like a like a modified buffalo. costume. Yeah, <laughs> B- buffalo bow. Yeah. yeah, he's 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 getting up there in age though. Yeah, so, so I, it's one of those things, right? Because I think that when we first found Buffo and first you know read the Gospel according to Buffo, uh, Gospel according to the same, um, there was not as much information out there. But he updated his biography to include all of this information about how he has like, what is it? A master's in special education. He's, yep. he's taught the, uh, he's taught blind and deaf children. Um, he, he used to play like major league baseball for the Pittsburgh pirates. Um, and like he, he, he's put up all these videos of him, like interacting with these kids and just making them like happy and over the moon. And I'm watching this. And I'm like, that's actually like a really special talent. To yeah. Have. This is a, this, he's a really special guy. The, the yeah. Facebook page is full of people, like talking about how their kids, uh, you know, were like Miss Buffo or like their birthday was the best birthday they've ever had. Right. Is the, the one that he showed he showed up as yeah. uh, and everything. And it's, it's very sweet. Yeah. And so, like, it's probably easy to think that our affection for him is ironic. And maybe at one point it was. But, like, I genuinely admire this man. <laughs> but it's that it's that weird, like, both thing. It's like yeah. how Tim and Eric think about Richard Dunn. OK. Yeah. You know, where it's like they had Richard Dunn. They actually like they thought they had him on the show because he's a weirdo uh-huh. and he had a weird stilted delivery and couldn't deliver lines right <laughs> but they like legitimately liked him and, and thought he was really funny yeah you know it wasn't a hateful way it's like an affectionate way right where it's like that like this is definitely a very good person like he's you know and i and i just think that it, i still it's part of why i like it is that it is so absurd oh yeah yeah you know it, it but and it wasn't uh intended not to be absurd like the fact that he's <laughs> mixing bodybuilding and clownery oh and, and was always meant to be and funny. anti-drug messages <laughs> yeah anti-drug message and uh you know um like balancing yeah <laughs> that's the, the other tier of buffalo that uh <laughs> we, we didn't really talk about how good he is at balancing at things yeah um but the uh uh it just it was like it is kind of ironic. However, he's a very good dude, and I actually do really like him. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> this, this is very sad. Like person who on the Facebook page, uh, their dog died, which is already sad. But just okay. like we said, said good, uh, goodbye to our sweet little Jack the Wonder Dog. She brought us great joy during her seventeen years. She loved Buffo. <laughs> um, it's like, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, they just wanted to share. <laughs> this person's got a Buffo tattoo. It's oh just yeah. like, man. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I, I'm I'm happy to continue spreading the word. Oh, totally. Yeah, like I'm I'm way into it, and like some, you know, perhaps one day, like I shall meet and have my hand crushed by Buffo. Yeah, you know that that would be phenomenal. Yeah, and, and just the the, the 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 usual line stands. It is much easier to explain Buffo than Crick. 
Yeah, like, that's true. Like, like if, if 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 confronted by both Bruff, by both Buffo and Crick at the same party, one of them tells uh, the truth and one of them tells them. <laughs> 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 Oh, we haven't talked about this game one single whit. Gary. Oh yeah, no, I, I know. I just I, I got to. Well, we talked about the the um oh the raft part, which is all I got to. Most yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. You're just collecting diamonds. Um, you, you collect I enough. It's very funny because you're going the the diamond city. And there's just thousands of diamonds in the water. <laughs> yeah. Um, I forget in the uh, in the Jurassic Park episodes we did uh, four years ago. Did I talk about Michael Crichton's whole uh, small penis libel defense? Um, you know, I don't remember. It's probably been long enough where we can redo it. Like, if Retronauts can do another Link to the Past episode, we can talk about the small <laughs> penis libel defense. Yeah. So, I think it was in, uh, I think it was in the novel version of Jurassic Park, or maybe it was, it was Timeline. Hint, those are the only two Michael Crichton books I've ever read. Um, he included, uh, like, a, a very thinly veiled caricature of one of his kind of harshest critics, right? Like, it was, you know, some... Some magazine, like literary review kind of guy, like it had a name that was very similar to him. He's like, oh, he's a big fat guy, and he's got like a like like, like a micro penis, a tiny, tiny little ding dong. And he said something real, real, real doofy about the about the main character who happens to be a Crichton stand-in. Mm-hmm. And you know, like that's kind of a shitty thing to do. Yeah. In a in, in, in a later in the water, it, like yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, it never resulted in any legal action because of the way that libel laws work in America, which are, uh, you cannot sue, like it's not technically liable if it's untrue. So if the, um, <laughs> or it's, yeah, no, it, you'd it, have to admit that he had a, a tiny ding dong. Right, right. It's not technically, it's not technically liable if it's true. So by challenging this depiction of him in court, he would have to enter into evidence the actual size of his dong. Oh, okay. So yeah. if, if it's true, it wouldn't be liable. Right, or, right. So, like, if Michael Crichton's going around accurately portraying the size of his penis, like, and there's literally nothing wrong with any size penis that you have. Um, yeah. I <laughs> just want to just want to We, we make talked that about that. We love the soft boys. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you know, grower, shower, fine, whatever. Yeah. Um, grower, grower, shower, let your dick come on over, over to because <laughs> we don't mind it we, we no got, matter what. We got room for all size and sorts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I just, I just, I want to. I want to. I desperately want to make sure that we're not like side it's a, shaming. It's somebody. a going out of business sale. <laughs> we'll take it. Take your size. But you, but you understand. You understand the instinct, right? Like I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I don't want to inadvertently side shame somebody. No, 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 I don't. Like I, I mean, we, we. I think it was the show we we're talking. We we're talking about. Like I don't. I don't have a gigantic penis. I don't, yeah. I have no. I have no penis uh, uh, aspirations or or. or and, 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 no illusions. Like, yeah. 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 No illusions about my my, my ding dong. Like. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Like it, <laughs> it, you know, it gets the job done. But I also have been like, once you have, uh, you know, sex enough, like you kind of realize like. I, you're, I'm sorry. You're you're heading towards a point. I'm just saying, like, I don't I don't believe that there is any kind of problem. Like, not only do I want to present that we don't have there's a there's a problem, like I legitimately don't think there's anything wrong no, with any no, kind of it's, it's body like, anybody it, has really. It's it, 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 it's this weird cultural myth that just like destroys people's self esteem for like no good reason at all. Um, yeah, right. Um, I, I I even forget what like what what point I was driving toward, but like no, no no. No legal action could result because of the particular ways that Michael Crichton crafted this. So it's like this ultra shitty way that, like, you know, long after this critic dies, he will be remembered for this depiction. And now I know how Dante Alighieri's. Now I know. Now hmm. he knows how Dante Alighieri's uh, uh, critics feel by being immortalized in the, in the Inferno. Yeah. The chapter of the Inferno when they talked about all their penises was super weird. Yeah, I mean it's the. Like, I was not expecting less. Dante Alighieri to be a size queen, but like here we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so yeah, he would have to enter into evidence. He didn't want to do that. Right, right. I, I might have just done it and just been like, okay, uh, here we go. You know, this this is what I got. This is what I'm working with because it, it's like it doesn't. The size of your penis only matters to the degree of like somebody you're having sex with, to the degree that they care. Yeah, it's, it's the chi- to the Chinese proverb: the uh, let let the let the let the steeds ride with the mares and the mice fly with the mice. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's it's you know if the person's fine with it, and there's so much more to sex than just like using your ding dong. Like, oh yeah, 
it's this, it's this whole cornucopia of cool shit you can do. And like yeah. when people are just like, yeah, my dick's not good enough. It's like, man, you were severely lacking in imagination. Like, no, I, like think about it. A good meal is not just the, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not, not yeah, it's not just the protein, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, and like, it's possible you could be with somebody who's just like, I just need steak right all the time. I just need to challenge steaks from the great outdoors. That's all I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> like, you know, but like, you, you know, and that's probably that person probably doesn't exist. And that person or that person exists. Uh, and that person isn't for you. Yeah. So, you know, and, and, and that's why all of this is a conversation. Totally. T- tons of people just want like a mixed green and a regular size steak, Yeah, you know, and, and maybe some mashed potatoes or whatever you got going on down there. I'm not here to question your like yeah. weird lumpy testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Skins on? Or... <laughs> uh, mm. uh, it, it, just, it just gets back to our usual, uh, our, our usual refrain, which is sex is farcical and it should be funny. Yeah. Well, totally. Like, it, it's funny. It's also like holy and magical and awesome. Yeah. You know, it's just because but the the holy, magical, awesome part of it is not because it's intimidating. It's because it's not. Yeah. No, it's it's you know, it's, 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 you know, all that stuff because it is. Yes. You know, because you... it because it's farcical and because it's, uh, yeah. you know, and some, you know, it's, it's like you get older and stuff and like. Even when I'm jerking off or whatever, every once in a while, like after like an orgasm or something, I'll just be like. You know, I'm getting older. My body's falling apart. Like I have this weird like neck shoulder thing today from like cleaning my old house and it hasn't gone away. It's really sore when I move my neck a certain way. Oh, like, yeah. yeah you, my like, body's falling apart. That, that's like your whole week. It sucks. But then like you like you orgasm and you're just like, you know what? Like this body is pretty cool. Like it is pretty <laughs> cool that I can do that. Yeah. Like, like cut, more or less whenever I want, I can make that happen. What cut, a blessed uh, life I have. C- 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 kind of on demand by sheer force of just imagination and kind of minimal physical exertion. I can yeah. flood my entire being with the exact like like with with the only things that feel good, which are the chemicals that are released upon that the makes, completion that of this feel act. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you, hey, how about this? Some serotonin and dopamine. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I, I need privacy, five to ten minutes, and then just like you know something to for which to clean up. Mm-hmm. You know, or a, an evening that doesn't involve me being clean. And, that, <laughs> right. and that's like literally all I need. And like, and I know there are people out there who can't orgasm, and that's you know that I'm not saying you're less than. Like, no, there's other ways no, to feel yeah. good and stuff. Like the um, or speaking but to like our it, own experience you know yes like it, it is kind of thing where it's like even with you know a, any whatever kind of body you have if you're able to do that like that's pretty good yeah yeah you're doing pretty good yeah you know so it's so so it's other five minutes alone or you know a partner you can have fun with like yeah it's it's you know it's it's yep. it's that Kurt Vonnegut thing you know if this isn't good what is you know totally yeah. totally like it's like I don't want to die like mid-orgasm but like I kind of do like just because the circumstances would be weird like some kind of home invasion thing or something. <laughs> <area. laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you coming? <laughs> They're home invasion. I just assume somebody else is. I just assume I will be murdered <laughs> and I'm in this scenario. I don't know why. Yeah. Like somebody just like slowly waiting and watching my face to see when it's time and then just shoot me between the eyes right at the moment of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like in, in, injecting you with poison right at the moment of climax. Or so, a poison that mixes with those endorphins. Oh God. It's like dopamine activated. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like the Joker's scheme, like where it's like the shampoo has to mix with the makeup or whatever, like in Batman one. Oh It'd yeah. Like the, you know, the dopamine has to mix with this, like, vi- you know, vanilla fruit or whatever, like the, the drug is. <laughs> and then like those things mix. It's like no good. Endorphin you know? like ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, must edge, must edge longer. It's like speed. It's like speed three. <laughs> must edge chafing badly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, <sighs> man. Uh, master uh, monkey, monkeys masturbate and apes masturbate too. Yeah, they do. Also they're, trying they're, it back in. Uh, this is you keep saying we're off topic, but like, man, this is so on topic. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it really truly is. And there's so little to say about this. Like, there's a there's a it small never fucking came out. Yeah, it never it, it never came you. out. Like, there's there, there there's a there's a fun quote here, which is like uh, uh, about them sending it off to cert. Or to, uh, to 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 quality assurance and saying uh, the customer expected the binary uploaded to their server at midnight that evening. My boss asked me if I needed anything from him. I told him I was fine. He confided to me uh, that he thought Congo was in was in the top twenty percent of games out there quality wise. <laughs> mm. Most of those games had a year or more development time. Ours had five months. 
<laughs> yeah, I like how you confided in him. Yeah, it's like, hey, I think this is going to go good. I think we've actually made it, man. Top 20%. <laughs> oh, you mean like with like Star Fox and Super Metroid and Super Mario World? No. Into the past, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is going to make it onto the SNES Retro Classic. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Uh, <laughs> just, just wait 20 years. You'll be fine. I'm here yeah. for the future. Yeah. Let's jerk each other off. It's a miracle. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's, it's a handmade miracle um yeah, yeah. You, you ever had a monkey throw a shit at you no yeah i had it happen i did it hit you was it through a fence or was no that like no it was, it, it was it was a glass uh, glass okay. enclosure but it was a very threatening gesture <laughs> yeah that, that i would find that pretty troubling yeah it was uh, i mean like i was like hey man good <laughs> good on you and that same trip to the zoo uh to the cincinnati zoo um i also had a, a snow leopard um just a, a projectile shit on the glass yeah i was like oh my I, gosh the snow leopard one of just like the most majestic creatures so rare <laughs> like you know like lives literally at the crown of the world and leaps from rock to rock and blends in and then just like he tried to shit on me that's real weird yeah <laughs> as far as like shitting goes, so I've seen I've seen otters like uh, suck suck themselves off a bunch. Oh, of course, I've seen like the otter otter erotica <laughs> affixation, <laughs> you know? and then I've seen uh, hippos and elephant shit. And hippos, it just kind of like there's like a bunch of stuff happens, but uh, or elephants, hippos do that weird helicopter thing though. That I oh yeah, they're trying they're they're trying to throw off uh th- th- throw off their tail, throw off their pursuers. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't I could never be a hippo because I mean your tail was never clean. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. like what a gross animal. Like those, those things are mean. Like hippos are mean and yeah. cruel and disgusting. Like what a terrible animal those are. Uh, yeah. And like they, an instrument like, made of their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and like baby hippos are cute. And the, uh, the, the Cincinnati zoo has a really good one named uh, Fiona, but like something mm-hmm. I don't understand about like online, apparently there's this meme about like pictures of like whenever somebody posts a picture of a baby hippo, which, you know, any baby animal is going to be pretty cute, I suppose, aside from like a baby bird or whatever. Um, somebody will say, oh, that's the worst cat. Like, oh, oh like, yeah. ba- like baby hippos are terrible cats. And like, I kind of get it, but I also don't. It's the same thing as like, what kind of dog is that? Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, the, it's just it's just that. It's the raccoon carrying, car- carrying the cat and I'm saying like, oh, please help me. My wife is sick. Yeah. 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 Same kind of thing. Just like, you know, fake, fake being, you know, not knowing something. Yeah. Fake, fake, fake confused about it. I, I, I yeah. guess. I, so yeah. I guess I get it, but it's not funny. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not particularly, that's not particularly funny. Yeah. 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 And then, like, the, and it's, it's like all, like, we'll move in. Let's do the real trifecta. Cause we started out with racism. We moved on to Buffo and then sex. We can close out with memes because it's, it, it's one of those meme things. It's funny. Like the first couple times you see it and then eventually yeah, it gets obnoxious, yeah. I think. Yeah, you know, at least for me it does. I'm like, ah, what kind of dog is that? <laughs> I've moved on. Now I'm into cold ones. <laughs> like, <laughs> and by the like, literally, Gary, we're recording this like three weeks in advance. By the time yeah. this comes out, you will be embarrassed <laughs> that you said anything good about cold ones. I don't think I will be though, because I have I'm on the hook for about 300 uh, videos of me asking roars uh, <laughs> for it. So, <laughs> asking roars. I, Wait a minute. Describe the situation. Oh, do, I mean, do you know about it? Do, like, because Cole, you never look at my Twitter. No, the, I, know, um, I, I don't go on Twitter because it's a garbage fire that is full of anxiety ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then you're missing out on a big part of my life, buddy. <laughs> um, I did posted a picture of Aurora's was very handsome. I said, for every like, I'll ask this boy if he wants to go get a cold one. And it's my most popular tweet. And it's got like 300 likes on it or so. And I've probably done about 25 videos oh, or so, God. so you're so like far. just shy of like 10% done. Yeah, I'm real in the hole. So I, <laughs> and like, it's like people are like, are you really going to do it? I'm like, yeah, I don't see why not. Like, I don't need to have it done anytime soon. Just right, right. Whenever Roars happens to be around and the, I have my phone and, and my, and it's, the mood strikes me, I'll just do it and upload one because it's easy. I can do it for anywhere. Right. You know? Um, so yeah, so that's why, that's why the cold one thing, it doesn't even matter if it gets old because in, I don't know, like two and a half years when I'm wrapping that up, um, <laughs> it's this ongoing pride. <laughs> then I'll still be, I'll still, you know, I'll still be talking about cold ones. Maybe it'll oh, get yeah. cool again. You, you, you'll become the one constant and it will cycle through being cool and lame about five times. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be the, it'll come back the same way memes come back. Like, you know how everybody's still talking about chocolate rain now? Oh yeah. Like it yeah. went away for a while and now everyone's like, yeah, chocolate rain. Are, are you, so, are you for fucking real? No. Okay. No, chocolate rain never came back. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> and, and, and it's, it's, you know, chocolate rain never came back, even though brother man, Bill came back with me and me and Steve Gaynor, which was nice. Hmm. Cause brother man, Bill is still funny yeah. and that's a good song. 
<laughs> huh. Um, I think it's probably good. I think so. Uh, so this was a random one. Uh, it was recommended by Sam Bear uh, oh, and also uh, by Fink Alda. Um, so Sam says, uh, an unreleased game, probably for good reason. Um, and Fink says, I don't think you guys would get more than halfway through the first stage. Uh, I don't know if any stages exist beyond the first stage. I kind of just want to hear your opinions on Congo the movie starring Laura Linney for 30 minutes. <laughs> Well, we neither of us had seen it. No, <laughs> so, no. Again, yeah. we we described the demographic reasons for that. So yeah, yeah. It's just uh, yeah. I'm sure it's kind of. I think I listened to the how did this get made about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was which was goofy, but I, I think that's about it. I th- I I think there is literally a, a laser that makes the ape super smart. During the trailer for this, Laura Linney says like, "Now we're gonna make them a real endangered species," and a fire is a laser. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't look like a weapon. Okay. And like, it looks like that maybe that's what's happening there. Huh. It was pretty, you know, pretty bonkers. So, yeah, yeah, no, no opinion, but hopefully, hopefully you like this regardless. Yeah. Um, if you did like this, uh, the best thing you could possibly do is support us on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash duck feed TV, mm-hmm. um, you get to get extra episodes of the show. You get a bunch of other very cool stuff. Yeah. It's all outlined there. It's new. Um, and, uh, we want you to do that, and you will enjoy checking it out and doing it as well. Yeah. If you want more episodes uh, episodes of the show, go to duckfeed.tv slash store. Uh, there are about 24 or 25 of those available for you, um, and it's like some of our best stuff. Uh, things about like uh, Time Slaughter or 50 Cent Blood on the Sand uh, and very uh, reasonably priced, we think. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that is uh, duckfeed.tv slash store. Yeah, and if you if you back us at that level where you get all that bonus stuff at once, you can mm-hmm. back us at forty bucks and just have twenty five episodes of this to listen to that you yeah. never heard before. Bam! Al- along with like ten adaptation decay and four try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bunch of cool stuff and more cool stuff to come. So, um, you'll definitely want to do that and tell your friends about that. You know, we're trying to we now the bonfire side chat's going away. Um, this show has a big shoes to fill. This is now the number two slot. <laughs> so uh you know we uh tell your friends about uh the network tell them about watch out for fireballs tell them about this yeah. really would appreciate that um yeah and i think that's probably about good yeah um and until next time who is strong dog 